If you struggle to make decisions, even though you've been following the seven step decision making plan that's out there or the 10 step or the 20 step, you, you're not alone. I mean, you think about it. Who has the time and the energy to follow seven steps, 20 steps to make a decision? Now, albeit there is some uh, relevance and some value to it, but as humans, we really are hardwired for the comfort zone. We're hardwired for that. Now, again, I'm your instructor, Louise Ann Maurice, and I will keep this video very short and sweet, but succinct in a way that empowers you. I want you to feel uh, exceptional about the decisions that you make and understand why sometimes you sabotage yourself. You sabotage the well-laid-out plans that you have thoughtfully put down on paper following the seven-step decision-making framework or the 20-step. Uh, I, I mean, it is a little bit ridiculous, but you're human and that's okay. I want you to embrace that. I want you to embrace everything that makes you exceptional. And sometimes, yeah, we want to be in our comfort zone. It's comfortable. That's why it's called a comfort zone. Yet as coaches, if you're a coach or a consultant, we're pushing our clients to leave their comfort zone. And then we can't understand why they're not signing up for our programs or why they're not showing up for sessions. It's because they are hardwired to be in their comfort zone. You just have to find out what that comfort zone is. So let's use yourself as an example. What's a decision lately that you have wanted to make? What's a decision? I want you to write that down. And I'm gonna share the example of people that want to relax and enjoy life. All right, people that wanna relax and enjoy life. And I'm gonna use myself as an example. And this is where I don't know how many times I have, yeah, burned out. I just, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I'm just like burned out. I've pushed myself too hard. I want to relax more. I want to exercise more. I want to take time away from work. I want to go for those walks. I really want to just chill. I want to have balance. And what happens? My comfort zone is actually pushing myself hard, working hard. That's my comfort zone. And why is it my comfort zone? Because that's when I get approval. That's when I get support. And this has been throughout my whole entire life. When I was growing up, that's all I heard. You've got to work hard. People in our family work hard. What are you doing? You're being lazy. This is no time to rest. The only day that you can rest is on the seventh day. So, I've been hardwired my whole life. If I'm going to belong to my family, then I've got to work hard. And I have to work hard when I'm at home. I've got to work hard when I'm at school. I've got to work hard when I'm in my career. And that has been my life since I've been, I don't know how old I've worked. I've had grass cutting jobs. I've worked in retail when I was a kid, always working when I was going to school and just crazy, crazy schedule. But that's my comfort zone. And that is what I know. Because when I try to do all of the things that I need to do to avoid burnout, such as rest, balance, exercise, meditate, all of that, that's when I feel rejected. That's when I feel turned down. That's when I am denied any positive comments. And that has happened my whole entire life. Now, 
maybe I do filter out the times when I actually have relaxed and no one has made a comment or I have done things, I've taken the day off and so forth. But most, most of the time, yeah, if I do take time, that's, it's the rejection. And that has happened my whole entire life. So anytime I try to leave my comfort zone, which is work and pushing myself and, well, I actually get rejected. So that's where I end up sabotaging all of my best decisions to actually spend more uh, balance time, quality time, relaxation time. And that's what I want you to do, all right? Because that's where you're gonna have to bridge the gap. And that's what I had to do to actually allow myself some <gasps> breathing time and, and get to a place where I wasn't always uh, burning myself out. And it, it is a process because I, myself have been so hardwired to work hard and if you don't work hard every single moment of every single day in any capacity that you're in then you're lazy then you get rejected then you don't belong and that becomes my benchmark so i want you to find what your benchmark is I want you to find what your benchmark is and then I want you to work with that and bridge the gap and find different meanings and use submodalities so that you are hearing less and less negative comments when you're actually doing what you want to do, leaving your comfort zone, moving towards your dreams and your goals. I want you to turn down the volume on the rejection and make more loudness come to life the endorsements the support the approval when you are actually doing what you want to do and having that balanced life that you want and that's how it will work all right that's how you make decisions <laughs> you bridge, bridge the gap and you Turn down the volume on the negativity, you turn up the volume, and it works. Trust me, it works. All right, remember to visit louiseannemaurice.com in the free resources area. I have those coaching questions that are going to guide you. And coaching questions that worked with myself, I've used them with clients, and I use them in training. It definitely works. And I want you to be able to use it first with yourself to make those decisions. It's not just about making decisions. It's about making those decisions stick. And that's what it's all about. I will see you in the comments section. Let me know how your decision making goes once you've applied this. Let's continue.